Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and Sammy already posted up a little something in the Netmarble forums letting us know about Guild Boss Challenge actually being removed for a little bit of time. So you guys can see right here that after the 20th of October, which is actually tomorrow in my time in America, where we're going to be getting a suspension of the Guild Boss Challenge, right? It's going to be suspended after the 10, 20 period so you know get whatever rewards you can out of there while you can play it and they say that they're excited about the renewed guild boss challenge and we will provide more details in a future update notice in addition they're sorry for the inconvenience caused to the contenders due to the temporary suspension of the guild boss challenge and they plan to provide some compensation for us which is you know the early termination or guild boss challenge mystery boxes by 15 right so we don't exactly know what they're going to be doing to the guild boss challenge but i'll tell you what they could do to the guild boss challenge and it's things that i've mentioned before in the past where i was like especially now with the introduction of the ue characters there are definitely some things they could do so what we've noticed recently in our recent updates is that we're not getting any form of ex generic memories right we didn't get any ex characters in the banner we didn't get any way of farming for ex generic memories in the carnivals which would be nice if they would re-implement that but if they put something like that in the guild boss challenge where you could acquire these materials i mean look at how many of these things i have guys if they would put like ex generic memories in here that would be pretty cool now that wouldn't solve all the problems in the game by no means because ex characters can only go to level 70. so something else they could do is put some kind of fragment in here where you could farm for so many of them and you could actually level up your ex characters and take them to level 80 level 90. i think that would be fantastic now will they do that probably not they're probably going to do something else but hopefully they'll put some rewards in here that are really gratifying and rewarding because the stones are all good but let's be honest guys if you're a5 in your characters you're going to get the stones for those characters right now obviously if you're only taking characters to a3 or so then you're not going to be probably getting these stones for the most part or maybe you're only going to get one of them during an update for a specific banner right but the chances of you getting the stone that you actually need for a specific type of character unless you're spending money buying those kof passes it's pretty tough guys like i i rarely rarely would get the stone that i want and the truth is we're at a point in the game where i, I mean i i can't speak for everybody out there but i know for me on my free to play account and obviously my main account I, I mean, look at this, guys. I never, ever, ever collect these things. Look at how many I have. Never. I'm in a guild that actually clears all of this content in no time. They clear everything. Look at the tier that I'm at, right? We will get this up to tier 40. It'll be completely maxed. And yeah, I mean, we're just, we're getting the max of these tokens out of here. But the rewards are just trash. They've been trash, really, in my opinion since the very beginning so i'm really hoping when they rework this or whatever they're going to do to it that they give us better rewards that would be awesome because if they just increase the difficulty and we're getting pretty much the same rewards as what we were then that's going to be absolute trash and you can expect a rant video about that but i'm really hoping that marvel steps it up and realizes that look man right now we feel very like we feel forced i mean you're not obviously right but you feel forced to A5 UE characters because you need a minimum of A3 for the plug-in plant. You need a minimum of A3 for this crap, right? For the plug-in plant. They have to be A3 at least. So something else that they could do in that guild boss challenge is give us a way to farm for UE memories. Now, I already know that that's not going to happen. There's no way they're going to give us any way to farm for UE memories. But considering the fact that, you know, they're expecting us to try to A5 these characters during a banner, which would cost you around 140,000 rubies, unless you're really lucky. Obviously, you can go to one pity and you get A5 a character if you're lucky enough. But how many of you does that happen to? I know it never happens to me, right? I mean, minimum, I would have to spend, you know, 40,000, 60,000 rubies to be able to A5 a character. And that's on a decent banner, you know, a decent luck, right? That's still a lot. And they do give us a lot of rubies in the game, but they don't really give us enough to be able to do that every single banner. Now, I don't expect everybody to get an A5 character every single banner, but I do expect them to help us to at least try to get, you know, a character to A3 every banner, right? Like, in my opinion, free-to-play players should be able to farm enough to where they can at least, you know, pretty much guarantee that they can get an A3 character 
every banner, right? At least an A3, so that way they could actually use those UE characters in the plug-in plan. But really, we all know that's not good enough because, you know, as we know, the higher level these characters are, the more overall points that they have, right? If they're level 90, they're going to have more overall points. When they're just level 70, they just don't reach the threshold that they need to push these high levels. So if they give us something in the Guild Boss Challenge that would help our progression as far as, you know, leveling up. Or, or even, here's another idea. This just popped in my head, guys. What if they would give us rewards in the Guild Boss Challenge where they it would increase our overall points for our account, right? Like you'd have to get so many fragments and then you would get so many overall points uh after so many of those fragments are combined whatever the case may be like i mean maybe that would be too op but if they made it to where you could only get so many overall points over so much of time maybe that would be really good too i mean i i, I think that might be pretty cool i mean let me know what you guys think kind of similar to what we have with the the codex right you know when we level up our characters to level 30 60 90 we get extra attack we get extra hp we get extra defenses or combat power cp as we like to call it we get all these things right well what if in guild boss challenge you could actually gain overall points right that, I mean, that, that would really really help because what that would do is people wouldn't feel forced to have to a5 their ue characters right they're still going to want to because they're still going to be stronger they're still going to be better they're still going to have plenty of motivation and incentivization to go ahead and get those characters leveled up but a lot of players out there won't feel forced they'll be like well you know at least i can still level up my overall points through this game mode and be able to use my a3 character in say like you know a, a tier 4 plugin right i mean if you had an a3 character and you're in the plugin plant and you have extra overall points right where you could level them up maybe you could go up like you know a3 is not going to go very high guys right but maybe you could take an a3 to tier 4 and get better plugins in tier 4 if you had more overall points because that's what it's all about in this game mode it really is i mean phantom attack momentum obviously but really you still need those overall points guys you need 2950 right here right and you see where level 70s sit Right? And obviously an A3 character is not level 70, they're level 30, right? So if there was a way we could actually get oh, extra overall points for our entire roster or for a specific color, kind of like what they do with the fame system, right? With the fame system, we can actually level up specific colors, attack, defense, penetration. What if we were able to add some overall points to a specific color? That would actually be really cool too. Like there's a whole slew of things that netbarbo could do to ease our pain and make things a whole lot better in this game i mean getting the ex generic memories i would really love that too it's just the problem is i know that they can only go to level 70 but if they had a thing to where we could take them up to level 80 to level 90 then it'd be a completely different story right but i still think we need to get ex generic memories because there's still players out there that want to level up their support characters they want to level up certain characters so they can get better buffs and so they can stay alive during these events characters like cosme characters like leona characters like lung and shizuru and so on right they want to level these characters or they're just fan favorites of say iori and they want to check up iori or kula or rugal or whoever the character may be lady guinness whoever the character may be they're trying to level them up so we still need a, a way to get you know farmable ex generic memories but honestly i think that overall point uh idea that i threw out I think that might actually be really cool. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think they should do in that Guild Boss Challenge as far as rewards or maybe even difficulty level. And I do stream on Twitch at 9pm to do plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.